Good morning to all of you. Welcome to Legal Matters by Sai Babu Tung Sukara. Day before yesterday, an incident happened in the Honorable Supreme Court of India, wherein our Telugu, one of the justices, Sri Pamidi Ghantam Sri Narasimha, P. S. Narasimha, he has requested the advocate not to address him as my lords, your lordship, all these things. Instead, he addressed, he wanted to be addressed as sir, which itself is enough. I am going to tell you about this. I am going to tell you about this. Sajanga, Manaki, a British colonial past, all over type, your honor, your lordship, my lordship, my lord, all these things normally. Of course, it is to keep up the graciousness, to keep up the majesty of the court. We do accept, there is no problem. Kani, Vintanaki, Kuncha, embarrassing, right? So, this lawyer has been addressing the justice as uh, your lordship or my lord then he said how many times will you say my lords if you stop saying then if you stop saying my lord then i will give half of my salary to you justice p narasimha p s narasimha told a lawyer during uh, an anchor during a hearing then he also suggested why don't you use the word sir instead of uh, my lords or these things so then Likewise, this is not the first incident. How many judges they have been discouraging the British colonial process, the so-called practice of addressing the courts as Mella Adivarana. Right. So, how to address the court? This is the main question. Is it not? So, please refer to rule number 2 of Chapter 3, Part 6 of the Bar Council of India Rules regarding the professional standards or we can call it the legal ethics. In this, we tell the words, have, rule number 2 says, have a respectful attitude to the court. You must have a respectful attitude to the court. Not only having, you all know, justice not only should be done, but should be seem to be done. Likewise, so, this respect is shown by addressing court as your honor, my lord, lordships. Right? So, better you remember rule number 2 of the Bar Council of India rules. Addressing the court, it is in different ways. People will uh, address them in different ways. But anyway, this doubt has come in the year 2021. Bar Council of India, I think it has clarified uh, in the year, two, I think, uh, 23-5-2021, they have written a letter. Actually, in 2019 itself, when some high court associations, bar associations, uh, requested the Bar Council of India to clarify as to how to address the court. In this connection, the Bar Council of India clarified in 2021 that the judges of the high courts and supreme courts may be addressed as Millard or Honorable Court. Whereas the subordinate courts normally they have to have to be addressed as Sir instead of the practice of your honor. Of course, it is not an offense. If you address the court as Millard or if you address the court as Sir, it cannot be an offense. It is only advisory. The Bar Council of India, they have given advisory in the year 2021. But still, the practice of addressing the courts as my lord other things, they have been uh, imbibed in our genes. So, we can't get away from that. Some people, young lawyers, definitely, now I have been hearing them, they are addressing court the first time, your honor, then they will start as a sir, sir, like that. It's a good thing. So, actually, in the year 1980, 79 or 1980, so I visited a place called as Bhavnagar in Gujarat. At that time, I had to meet one person. He was late. He came around uh, 10 p.m. or so. Then I asked him, why are you so late? Then he said, I went to the Majesty's residence. Who is this Majesty? I don't understand who is the Majesty. 
Then he said, His Excellency. What is His Excellency? These are all uh, bombarding adjectives or words. Then he said, He is Raja of Bhavnagar. That Raja of Bhavnagar, you cannot call him as Raja. You have to address him as Your Excellency, Your Majesty, Your Highness. Oh, then only I can actually. Till such time, uh, even though I worked as a police, I was working as a police officer. I did not uh, know those words. Likewise, your honor, my lord, lordship, all these things uh, they are uh, being used uh, repeatedly by the so-called advocates. So this has to be definitely discouraged. That is uh, what Justice P. S. Narasimham said. Now, not only he. This has been uh, right from 2009, I think. Justice Chandru, you might have heard his name. He is very famous. You might have seen the film Jai Bhim, Telugu World Mother Telugu. Jai Bhim, Vadinchine, original case in Vadinchine. I know Justice Chandru after retirement he has taken up that case. It has become very success online level in the Corona time level. So I am called Justice Chandru. He asked the lawyers to refrain from using the word my lord. Right and another judge, Justice S. Morali Dharan, Morali Dhar, when he became the Chief Justice of uh, uh, Chhattisgarh Court, Varissa, Varissa High Court, he formally requested the lawyers uh, that they may try to address him as uh, Sir instead of uh, the so-called Your Lordship or My Lord. And uh, Chief Justice of Calcutta, Tattatil B. Radha Krishnan, yes, he also sent a letter to all the district judiciary officers and also. So the advocate uh, requesting them to uh, that uh, requesting that his desire is to be addressed as uh, sir instead of uh, my lord or lordship, right? In 2019, Rajasthan High Court requested or issued a notice requesting the lawyers who are appearing before the judges to desist from using the words of my lord and lordship. So please remember. Likewise, there are so many instances. Of course, will it stop? We don't know. But better the young lawyers know to address the court as your honor, honorable court, or sir itself is sufficient. So you are not going to gain much by addressing the court as this thing. It is by your dint of hard work. It is. By your way of arguments, it is by your authority of cross-examination of a witness. Then your metal M E T T L will come out, not by addressing, not by being self-serving other things to the court. No doubt, you have to respect the court. That's why once again reiterate uh, rule number two: you have to have a respectful attitude toward the court. I will explain you in detail in the class as regards uh, rule number two. For the present, I am stopping. Thank you very much.